Well, thank you, Richard. I was very honored to receive this award last year. It was particularly meaningful to me that just three years earlier, the award had gone to the first woman judge and the first woman chief justice of the Missouri Supreme Court, Ann Covington, who's here with us tonight. I think so. Ann was the only woman on the Supreme Court for the entire time she served, from 1989 until her retirement in January 2001. I was lucky enough to take her spot on the court when she stepped down. I'd never say I replaced her, because that's impossible. Some of us wondered if there would only be a single woman's spot on the court, but we didn't have to wonder for too long. Just three years later, in 2004, Governor Holden appointed Mary Russell to the Supreme Court. Now here we are with three members of the court since Judge Brackenridge joined us in 2007 and with back-to-back -back High Court recipients of this marvelous award. That speaks volumes about how far we've come. She's an amazing, successful, confident, resourceful, intelligent, experienced attorney and judge who's reached great heights in her profession. She's a vibrant and persuasive member of our court who's really made a difference to the law and to Missouri. But that's not what she cares most about, nor is it what's most impressive about her. What is most impressive is her humility, her caring, her consideration for others. She always reaches out to those around her and to those in need. In terms of the court, that means she reaches out to learn how to make the courts more responsive to our individual citizens, how to make them work better for lawyers and for clients alike. Outside the courthouse, it means she always acts as an ambassador for the courts and for the justice system, making friends for all of us, both in the community and in the legislature, and indeed everywhere she goes. The smiling, caring, friendly face you see so often at events around Missouri is the real Mary Russell, the person we're lucky enough to work with every day. 